October 25th, St. Chrysanthus and St. Daria, martyrs. Chrysanthus was the son of a Roman senator born in Egypt. While still young, he went with his father to Rome, where his superior intelligence was quickly appreciated. Convinced of the vanity of idol worship, he undertook every means at his disposition to learn the truth and deliver his soul from the doubts afflicting him. An elderly gentleman was pointed out to him as a sage, and Chrysanthus went to him with questions. The old man, who was a Christian, had no difficulty in opening the eyes of the young neophyte. Chrysanthus instantly embraced the truth with ardor and became an apostle. His father, at first astonished, became irritated and decided to bring his son back from what he called his superstitions and errors. However, no means were effective for this purpose. Thus, influenced by his associates, the father locked him in his palace and sent a courtesan to seduce his purity. When the first one did not succeed, others were commissioned for the infamous task, and finally a vestal virgin priestess of an idol regarded as the empire's bulwark attempted every artifice to corrupt the young Christian. Instead, she herself became the conquest of grace. The two Christians saw themselves united by the bonds of faith, hope, and charity, and determined to add to these holy chains those of a virginal marriage. This decision brought about liberty for Chrysanthus and gave him the means to continue his preaching of Christ. Many conversions among the officers of the Roman society with which he was already familiar were the fruit of the apostolate of the young spouses, including that of the tribune Claudius with his household and seventy soldiers. But complaints began to be addressed to the perfect of Rome who arrested the young couple. After enduring many torments, Chrysanthus was shut up in prison and Daria was sent to a house of ill fame. But the Lord washed over both of them, as he had done over many others, and they surmounted their trials, intact and pure. To be done with them, the irritated emperor had them buried alive. It appears this torment was chosen in order to inflict on Daria the death deserved for an unfaithful vestal virgin. Their buried bodies were uncovered in the fourth century and traveled here and there until they came to rest in the 900s in a cathedral in northern Italy.